Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Aurora for XC Sharp, episode number six, I do believe. Uh, we're continuing where we last left off. We are under attack, and I mean that in all sense of the words. We have fought them off from Alpha, but now the enemy still remain in Nerox, and we will be moving over to liberate the colony there. Liberate Nerox 1 from the invader. We lost a entire garrison and 1.44 million people. In recognition of this, I have added medals into the game from the forums to sh provide some uh, awards to those who will die in this war and who will survive this war. So, in that regard, I'm going to have Troop Transport Fleet 1 begin going back to Earth as soon as it can and loading up uh, ground forces. It, its primary purpose will be obviously refueling, refueling, getting its ground forces ready and getting over to move. Our fleet is on the way. As we can see, we have the first carrier strike group, the third carrier group, as well, or the first cruiser strike group, the third carrier group, as well as the second carrier group uh, on the way. Uh, we do need to rescue the survivors, which we are doing with the Essex, uh, Lieutenant Commander Yanagita Misato and Lieutenant Commander Itani Itami Fujihiro, as well as the crews of the several F2 fighters that were lost uh, in combat. An unfortunate situation. Before we get into today's episode, though, I do want to say that uh, if you want to continue supporting this series, if you want to continue seeing more content like this, Instead of becoming a YouTube member, I know some of you have, and it's really, really great to see you guys do though that because that tells me that you want more content, that you're willing to financially provide support. And if you can't do that, then just share and commenting and doing whatever you can always helps out. I also got some comments specifically around how, um, around the difficulty of the Raiders. I want to make this clear. I enjoy this difficulty. I think this will be make an interesting story, an interesting time as humanity strives to survive. In that regard, it is going to be a war of attrition in many regards. So I'm going to order up immediate ship construction across the Empire. The Prospero and the Tethys will be constructed two new cruisers. We will also begin construction of another Soyuz class, the Quebec. And we will begin construction of four more Congo class destroyers to be built. Uh, the Krakatoa, Matawan, and Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, I also want to begin looking at alternative ways for defensive operations. We are going to start construction on mechanized companies. We had a look at their ground forces once they landed. If we had a look at them, we can tell that they have racial arm of 10 and that they have an armor strength of 20, which means they're using heavy powered infantry armor. They're also using six shot 15 penetration weapons. Based on this, if we look in our ground force um, area, we can infer that they are likely going to have been using like going to have been using uh, heavy crude anti-personnel weapons. This means that they're going to have a penetration, if we went back to that window, of 15. Our light vehicles are coming in at, 20, at 16 armor, so they can pretty much nearly penetrate those light vehicles, which is obviously a significant concern. They also have an anti-tank team with 20 penetration and 30 damage. Resupply infantry and their infantry HQ. What this is telling me is I need more armor, I need more mechanized capabilities. So that is what we will be in construction as. We have got racial weapon strength 10 now. We are making strides towards ceramic composite armor. However, I don't believe that will be enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into tailoring our forces to be able to beat the enemy. They have armor strength of 20. Uh, and this means that we are going to need heavier armor to, or heavier penetration to be able to get through them. Simply speaking, we are going to need auto cannons, a lot of auto cannons. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new set of auto cannon in uh, auto cannon light vehicles uh, because that's going to provide us with 30 penetration, which will obviously penetrate, but also the damage to be able to immediately kill. Light auto cannons would not provide what we need in that regard. So I'm going to go light vehicle with uh, medium auto cannons, and we're going to begin constructing this as a more APC APC V2, or we'll we'll go for the we'll go for the B variant, a more B APC uh, 0021, and we're going to create that. 
And then we are going to begin construction of a medium vehicle one as well. And this will be more APC, AVB, AVB, APC. And that will have uh, our higher penetration as well. So we're going to get those into uh, immediate research. And when they have my ground combat scientist divert research to him, we're going to need a lot more ground force, a lot more capabilities in that regard. And so what I am going to be doing now as well is I'm going to cancel our financial centers. I'm going to cancel uh, our other uh, various different researches. I'm going to decrease this. I'm going to begin immediate construction of more F2 fighters. We are going to start a effort to begin building more fighter factories. I want to build 100 more fighter factories at 20%. And then I'm going to also begin construction, uh, which I was alluding to, of uh, things that will help with our defense. Uh, and in that essence, we're going to need ordnance factories as consideration of going into those missiles. I It's still far away off, though. Uh, deep space tracking stations we're going to need but most importantly, ground force construction complexes. So I'm going to order up another five ground force construction complexes. And I'm also, as well as part of these new measures, we're going to go into galactic map and we are going to immediately uh, designate uh, military restricted systems. Neox is now a military restricted system. Talos is now a military restricted system. Uh, I'm also in the military restrict uh, Zitomir. Alpha for now, I will keep as it is. This will force civilians to pull back uh, as they will realize, hey, this is not where we should be going. And yeah, let's continue along. The 13th fighter wing currently uh, in orbit of Kareem. Uh, we are going to have you head back over to your carrier and land as a squadron. All right, let's uh, begin moving the hours along here. Uh, repairing guns and we are on our way yeah we're gonna need a lot more ground forces on our colonies we're also going to need service to orbit weapons i believe we now have 20 centimeter rail guns so i believe that'll be a worthy enough addition for a uh, surface to orbit weapon um we are going to need to however research such a weapon which is what i will do now 20 centimeter rail gun unfortunately our rail gun launch velocity is not too great but uh, we do get some range advantages for having an sto we are going to create that research immediately and i'm going to order uh, research to be immediately taken away from sensors and fire controls and be provided to our missile kinetics scientists to begin research into the 20 centimeter railgun that we'll need for our service orbit weapons. Okay, we nearly have arrived. We'll be able to save these guys just in time, and uh, that'll be. It. And we will award them. There we go. We've rescued life pods there. Uh, so let me just rescue the rest of those. So rescue survivors. And there we go, we've uh, got all that queued up now. Uh, let's rescue those. Great, and as part of this, we are going to uh, Itami Fujihiro rescued. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put Itami Fujihiro, Lieutenant Commander. Um, let me find him. Oh, we've got a lot of guys in here, don't we? A lot of guys. He's a Lieutenant Commander, just to be clear. Yes, he is. So, and there he is. We are going to award a medal. We are going to award specifically the Survivor Medal to him. Having suffered the destruction of a ship, you will be awarded this medal. Um, fight, uh, fighting against raiders in Alpha 1 and surviving. There we go. And he has been awarded that medal accordingly. And then the second person was Yanagita Misato, uh, who we will also assign a medal. Once I do find the individual. Um, there he is. He's unfortunately in poor health, probably because he got blown up. They survived the ship destruction, however, and so you will be awarded... Uh, be awarded the medal for surviving uh survived the destruction of a ship congratulations you have been awarded that medal um escaping destruction from raider forces 
there we go, okay. They've been awarded their medals, and they'll hopefully get new assignments, but uh, they have been rescued. The Essex will remain in orbit of uh, Kareem, uh, and I'm going to have to bring in uh, the second carrier group. First, I'm probably going to have to dispatch a cruiser strike group. Um, do we have any destroyers available? Not really. Uh, we have three destroyers available. Uh, so I'm going to detach the Ariel, and I'm going to give it uh, three destroyers, and then I'm going to send this new uh, cruiser, second cruiser strike group to Alpha and to secure Kareem for the moment. In terms of advancing in terms of our technology, we don't yet have ion drives. We will have them within two years, at which point we can begin to make another leap forward in technology. But for now, we're not capable of doing so. Essex, once you arrive, you'll unload the survivors onto the colony and they can get filtered out to wherever, wherever they need to go, of course. Okay, our fleets are on the way. We need to be very careful what's happening in Nerox. Nerox is currently being completely abandoned. There's no one in there at the moment. Uh, in terms of Zitomir, ooh, Zitomir, Arrakis fighter defenses are moving through. People are attempting to flee through the Alpha jump point. Yeah, everyone is heading back through the Alpha jump point, which is a good thing. Uh, in the other side of Nerox, we have, because if we have a look on the map here, uh, Talos. Uh, we need to be very careful about the Talos situation. We did destroy an enemy ship that was in here, the Labrador. Uh, we're going to keep the Labrador where it is. Uh, specifically, I want to keep it defending the Invictus colony at all costs. It's only got nine F2 fighters on it, but it's going to have to do the best that it can do. Uh, we have various civilian vessels that are attempting to transit through the Minerva jump point. They should hopefully be able to flee the system and keep uh, take shelter in Minerva. Uh, but obviously, uh, not everything will, will go to plan with the current situation of things. Uh, we just got a bunch of awards, obviously, for the backlog. So all for 10 years of service have been awarded their medals. Good for them. Let's head back to Alpha and look at our strike groups. The third carrier strike group is on the way. Um, at full speed. Zitomir, we're going straight through Zitomir. So we're going to do eight hour increment, auto increments here. And second cruiser strike group is also now on the way. The blue whale can unfortunately not... Uh, do anything yet so we're going to send you back through to alpha go through to sol and go to proxima uh do not go into the narox system that was their target uh the second cruiser strike group has reached uh karim and is now playing defensive operations there we have to make sure that obviously the sensors are active for all of these actives on and actives on um, what we have easily found with our vessels, however, is that the observers um, have been woefully unprepared for operations against them, and that we will need to bring in a second class of vessels. So what I will be designing to replace the current active sensor, uh, which we have on it, we're going to copy that design, uh, which is a 50-ton sensor, I'm going to design a new sensor specifically tailored against the enemy ships. So we're going to go for a 700 ton uh, 15HS sensor. We're going to create that design immediately. And I'm going to have that be ordered up into sensors and fire controls. We're going to take that away from uh, research rate and the other things as military applications now take precedence over everything else. That is very, very clear. And uh, yeah, the good news is that while we did lose a lot of stuff, uh, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Um, I would love to get another Condor out there uh, so that we can uh, defend Kareem. Uh, so I've detached that Condor. What of our F2s currently stationed here? We have quite a few F2s available to be sent. So we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Detach those. Uh, and then as the Condor, where are you? We're going to create the 13th fighter. No, we'll, we'll need the 7th uh, fighter squadron. And we'll call this the um, Avengers. Uh, because obviously we lost the fighter squadron there. 
so we are going to then move that shipyard boop to land on the condor we're not really going to bring the the o o o one with them because it doesn't seem to be very effective actually we might just take as many f2s as we can get our hands on all right that condor is ready to head over uh we're going to need more maintenance facilities we're going to need more deep space tracking stations all over the place and we will get to that in just a moment but for now i'm going to order uh one of my tugs to begin moving that immediately uh so if i go over to uh, our condor you're going to track to that ship and you're going to take that immediately to Alpha and immediately deposit that onto uh, Kareem to replace the losses, which unfortunately we lost for, for really no good reason. Um, yeah, more F2s are on the way here. Uh, we are going to need to move those freighters, however. I want to get those freighters, freighters 2, moving uh, maintenance facilities. So I want you to grab maintenance facilities and move them over to Zitomir. Move them over to Arrakis. Unload all installations, head back to Seoul, and then refuel. Uh, I want you to move, let's do 12, uh, 15. Let's do 15 of those. So that is going to require a total of five trips. So we will repeat those orders accordingly. And that will get us 20 maintenance facilities on Arrakis, which we can then use to keep a more permanent presence in that area, get more fire defenses in that area, and be just in a better position. All right. Uh, why do you? Why were you unable to load? Ah, because you have infrastructure loaded. That would explain some things. Unload infrastructure. Uh, fuel transport group has completed orders and is now orbiting Arrakis. Um, yeah. For now, you need to because obviously Nerox is here. That doesn't mean we have to stop the supply, so to speak. Uh, we're going to keep you where you are though, uh, because you are going to probably have to support operations as needed. Freighters 2 begin loading up those maintenance facilities and begin taking them over to Arrakis at all due haste. All the installations are back to Sol, refuel, repeat orders four times, and uh, there we go. Strike Group is now in, uh, is now in uh, Zitomir. And they are heading towards Nerox at all full speed. What was that, those orders? uh yeah they've completed their overhaul that's fine that's completely all fine okay we are all now on the way we're doing eight hour increments for now uh no suitable destination as you're in talos yes that would be what are your you're the halibut uh you are in talos you're going to need to head through nerox and head through to zitomir at full speed and then we feel we supply from arrakis if i have a look at uh nerox you should be able to reach Zitomir, to Zitomir relatively safely. Uh, obviously, it's still somewhat risky, um, but you've got to make that movement. You've got to, you've got to, you've got to try. Uh, Stank order, refuel, resupply. Stank orders, turn off your refuel condition. No refuel, yeah. Just turn off, turn off this condition. Clear order list. Yeah, that's fine by me. All right. Let me have a look back over at Zitomir as we prepare for our response. The third, we've got three of our strike groups moving up. And we will see what we can do here. Okay. Uh, Tug just finished up there, which is fantastic news. So that means that we should now have the Condor available above the planet. Uh, we're going to rename this to Kareem Fighter Defenses. And we're going to station that immediately over into our fighter defenses group. So that has replaced those losses that we did take, obviously. All right. And let us continue on. Okay. We have completed all this. We are now in Zitomir. Uh, so if we go over to Nerox, or in Nerox more specifically, third carrier group, make sure your active sensors are on. Make sure your active sensors are on. Make sure your, yeah, all your active sensors are on accordingly. And we are going to wait. For obviously our other fleets to arrive and we'll make one big task group okay that is every carrier group now arrived we're going to have everyone follow the first carrier group uh, which is what is most important here um, well more specifically I see third carrier group we'll follow the second carrier group then 
for the th Senkai Reaper at all times. Uh, same with the where are you located? Naval Reserve Command. We need to move you into active service immediately. First strike group, you're going to be moved into Naval Command. You are going to follow the second as well. You're going to follow the second as well. Uh, first carrier group, you are going to head towards. No, second carrier group, my bad. You can head towards Nerox 1 at full speed. That'll take you 2.7 days to reach. Um, and we are going to secure the area. Um, you'll make sure that we are secure in our presence here. Okay, get ready. No detection so far. Okay, ground force signature detected. 68,500 tons of aliens have been detected. Okay, that is that is a concern, right? That is a that is a significant concern. So we have 68,000 tons of ground forces that we'll have to root out. We need a plan to actually root them out here. We'll stay in orbit for now. Uh, we need our troop transport. What are our troop transports doing? They'll be at Earth soon. Okay. Um, I need more troop transports, more specifically. Uh, the problem is, obviously, we don't have a lot of um, spare shipyards, but I'm going to just retool this for immediate troop transports to be used instead because they're going to be more and more important. And we're just going to do one day increments here until I get uh what i need another akagi class vessel just finished up nerox the ganymede is going to need to get a resupply sorted out for itself where the hell is it um oh yes the ganymede would be obviously one of our vessels uh i'm going to move the tanker which one is you you are over here refuel from arrakis and then head over into nerox and then head over to nerox one and you can act as uh, extending that fuel range for us as needed uh, we're continuing to build up on our F2s. No enemy sighted here. True transport fleet is now done. Okay, we're going to load up a division and begin moving it over. We're probably going to need two divisions. Now, Nerox 1 is a world with a barren, barren situation. However, they're going to be dug in at three times. Forces here. So we can assume that 65,000 is going to be a lot, lot more. On Earth, for striking capability, we have one we have one division essentially available. Um, Arrakis has essentially a division available, um, which we can move. However, of course, that is going to take quite some time to do so. Uh, but we can probably spare two divisions to be immediately sent in an attempt to recapture. However, I'm unsure on how successful that would be. Uh, we must try, though, to because if they can stay there, they probably have the population in slave camps at this point. Um, or they've just slaughtered the population and left the ground forces behind. Either way, we are going to have to load up an infantry division and begin moving that over. Now, unfortunately, they have a significant technological advantage over us, but we must do what we can. So I'm going to load this, and I'm going to have you head over to Nerox 1. Um, Actually, yeah, let's head over to Nerox 2, and that's where we will go first. I'm going to see the tanker, however, to join with that fleet. So join with True Transport Fleet, and you are going to refuel, uh, refuel own fleet, okay? And then we are going to also provide, have to provide an escort, most likely. Uh, third carrier group, first carrier group is coming on Earth and for Earth's protection, which is important. Uh, I can't leave Earth unprotected here, really. Uh, but I can provide some escort uh, with the Stefano. Uh, so I'm going to detach the Stefano and have them him join up with the troop transport fleet. And I'm also going to have the destroyer Mount Fuji detach and also be protecting the fleet as well. And we'll have them begin moving over. Okay, we have Nerox. Yeah, they are definitely on the colony because we see the thermal signature. So we have to retake the population. They've likely enslaved the population there. Um, and so we are going to have to wait until we can get those ground forces on there. Uh, they're refusing to exchange information, obviously. That's for obvious reasons. Uh, the Halibut. Research into that APC done. 
uh, the Ganymede, 19.4% fuel. Uh, we will have you refuel accordingly. Uh, so begin the refuel process from, uh, let's have a look here, from our stationary tankers. And there we go. It should now have plenty of fuel available. You're going to just move to this location. Same with you. You're just going to move on to Nerox 1 because we don't want you doing anything else but just sitting on that immediate colony area. So far, the enemy have left us. Uh, we have no more contact from them, uh, which is obviously quite surprising when you consider the current situation of things. Uh, we're going to head back to Proxima and we're going to head to Meridian. Um, and yeah, we're going to continue to prepare for our invasion attempt here. Complete research into that railgun. So we are going to begin designing ourselves up some surface to orbit weapons here. So static, surface to orbit weapon, 20 centimeter railgun. Uh, max for firing control range of 240,000. So we're trying to stay at max 27%. Uh, and we are going to name this um, 20T Primary Defense Cannon, or PDC. And we're going to put this at uh, what, what we need, really. Uh, so avoid combat, create. And we're going to begin to research that immediately. Ground combat. Uh, we need, yeah, ground combat scientist. So I'm going to just put more research labs into you, and we're going to get that onto the queue immediately, and then we can begin to produce some surface orbit weapon battalions uh, to defend our colonies. Grab social survey done in Talos. Uh, not much found over there, so we're going to have you go over to Minerva. So we're not dying yet. However, we need to retake Nerox 1. I'm not going to allow Japanese citizens to remain on that planet. Um in that situation in fact i'm we're going to see what we can do in terms of an orbital bombardment attempt um i'm going to order the ariel to load its 15 centimeter railguns so 15 centimeter railguns are ready uh we are going to uh do we not have you available oh you're you're not the one my bad i keep getting confused uh the ganymede will do it then load your railguns fire on enemy ground force at this is, will be your attempt. So we're going to open fire firing shot, open fire firing shot. I'm going to see what kind of capable, how, how effective this bombardment will be on the world. Okay, we fire five shots. So we got five hits out of 80. Um, estimate civilian deaths, however. Oh, okay. That's a lot of installations dying. Okay, we need to hold that. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Cease fire, cease fire. Cease fire fleet. We are going to have to hold there. We cannot bombard that. That is a really bad idea to bombard that then. Okay, true transport fleet, how are you moving on? Um, 77 days before you reach reach uh, for a landing. And then we'll move in four more regiments of forces as well on top of that. Okay, the halibut requiring new orders, but yeah, we're just gonna have to wait here. They've they've buggered off, they've buggered off, but they have they've they 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 stay, they remain on this world here, which is uh, obviously very concerning for everyone involved. Uh, Ten percent here. We're gonna begin continuing into more ground force construction facilities. We're producing five more mechanized companies, which we can then begin shipping over as needed. And more APCs that just finish up research. So after those, we can begin to modernize a little bit more on those. Uh, okay, how's the troop transport fleet coming along there? Second cruiser strike, we you're orbiting, you're having some maintenance problems. I can see that when the engines is, is older. So we're going to have to move you back to Sol. Uh, we feel we supply begin overhaul uh, accordingly, uh, as we obviously cannot continue to keep them there. Uh, Blue Whale is in Meridian and is going to require some changes. So Proxima, uh, Proxima, Sol, uh, Alpha, Zitomir, Nerox, Actum, you'll have to go to. And then the Lamprey. Uh, let's have a look at the Lamprey. Uh, Lamprey will head you over to Actum as well. Uh, I'm going to reopen. Uh, transit into Zitomir. And I'm going to reopen transit into Nerox for this period. 
So we're going to reopen those transport lanes. Okay, we have True Transfer Fleet has arrived. True Transfer Fleet, we will begin unloading of the initial forces. So unload onto the planet. Okay, that'll take three days apparently. Okay, True Transfer Fleet has unloaded. Uh, we are going to then, oh, these are refueling properly, which is nice. We're going to go back to Zitomir. We're going to load up its entire defensive ground force. And we are going to push them into military action. Okay. Um, and we're going to send those over to Alpha. Not to, yeah, then to Nerox. And we are going to unload them on to the colony. And we're going to get ready to move them over as needed. Obviously, I don't want to have to do this, but we're going to have to grab as many ground forces as possible. Nerox 2 has four currently infantry regiments on it. Um, we don't really have more infantry regiments we can send. We can send from Earth, but at that point, we're just leaving Earth completely defenseless. Kareem has an infantry regiment on, but is not really in a position. We're going to need a lot more ground forces to be able to properly do what we're trying to do here. Uh, let's actually begin repairs now of the... Himalayas because it got damaged. The halibut requires new orders. And uh, let's have the halibut head over to Actum. You can begin surveying in that direction. Okay, 11 research facilities uh, are available. Uh, we are going to begin researching into missile technologies. Uh, specifically, I'm going to begin researching into MSP warhead strength and into. Uh, yeah, MSP Warshrength and Agility modifiers. Uh, refusing to exchange information. Okay, how long, much longer until I get the true transport fleet over 18 days? Okay, here they come. Okay, we are going to keep them on that. So, we have our ground forces ready. Uh, let's show them on ships. So, we have four M2 regiments. I'm going to sort that fuel position out. So... Infantry regiments, obviously, rear echelon. Uh, we're going to have to wait for that, don't we? Yeah, so we're going to have the true transport fleet begin unloading onto Nerox 1. Create colony. Unload. That'll take 2.5 days to reach the colony. The question is, obviously, can um, a, a ground force attempt survive in that period of time? Um... Okay, here we go. One hour. Okay, we've unloaded the first wave of ground forces onto the colony. We have made it back onto Nerox 1. Rare echelon, please. All formations at same possible. We echelon those guys. The rest of these, we are going to try and dig in. We may get wiped out here, which would be not good for anyone involved. Uh, go over back to Nerox 2. Begin loading up all of these ground forces and begin shipping them over here to begin immediately helping uh, where you can uh, to Nerox 1. Begin unloading process. That's going to take at least a week though, so we have to survive a week of ground combat, which is debatable if that will be possible because they now have defensive advantage. Um, Alright, let's do some increments. Uh, Lamprey requires new orders, however, I don't feel like the Lamprey is uh, that big of a priority right now considering the situation we now find ourselves in. Alright, three hour increments. Okay, here we go. We are fighting. Oh, those losses are not great. Those losses are really not good. We killed 200 elite infantry. What are we estimating now our enemies are like? We lost an infantry battalion immediately. We estimate 6,000 elite enemy infantry. We... God, we're going to need such a bigger ground force to be able to actually deal with that. If that is a... The arrow range is 100%, but still, that is not a good situation to be in. Uh, what are the current situation holding up on their Ox 1? Okay, we have lost 50,000 tons of ground forces already. Um, and we have barely been able to dig in, unfortunately. We're probably going to lose all of those ground forces. And that is going to be another tragedy, which means we're going to have to stop the movements there. Okay, we're still... We're still, still there. We lost another 22,000. We managed to only kill 52. They are slaughtering us. Um, they, 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 they are so, so much better than our infantry. Um, I need to have a look at how they're doing that exactly. So, 
Let me have a look here. Um, mechanized company attack report. Attack report versus AI team. Um, losses summary. 629 infantrymen for these two battalions. Yeah, I understand that. Hits taken, 60 penetrated. So the APCs get immediately penetrated. The hits, they immediately get lost, no matter what, pretty much. Um, their weapons just penetrate through the armor, uh, no matter what we do. Uh, same thing with the infantry. The infantry, again, do not have armor enough to be able to deal with that. Uh, so we are going to halt our troop transport fleet immediately from continuing. Uh, we are not going to supply that. So we just lost 100,000 tons of ground forces. I'm going to have them pick up on their Ox 1 all of the ground forces that on their Ox uh, 2 pick up all of the ground forces we left on that planet and we're going to take them back to Arrakis unfortunately it seems that a ground invasion is not going to be a possibility at this point in that regard um, we have to make the decision on what we do uh, orbital bombardment could be used um, for the purposes of eliminating the enemy ground forces however we would likely kill the entire Sulean population. Um, and that is not something that I would like to have happen. Um, but may these brave souls... Brave souls who are fighting on Nerox 1... Um, may they may they live in peace uh, in the afterlife. Because uh, they are getting absolutely slaughtered. Uh, and that should be the end of those ground force on Nerox 1. No, they're still fighting. We still have... We still have ground forces fighting a little bit, only a few of them. The remaining uh, vehic of mainly vehicles that are still held there. Uh, we barely managed to get a dent in them. At least we now know of uh, more s more information about our enemy and what they have available to us. Uh, as ground force combat now continues, uh, they have approximately probably 2,000 elite infantrymen, which is a hell of a lot. Um, and is telling us that we cannot let them anymore do anything against us uh, in terms of gra landing ground forces. All right. Um, simply speaking, we can bombard them, but we will kill the civilian population. The question then becomes: Do we care? Do we, you know, do is it is it worth it letting them live under the slavery, or should we just nuke them from orbit? Um, I'll leave that to you guys in the comments below, unless we can manage to retake the the, the area ourselves. This is going to be a significant, significant, significant problem. Um, what we may need to do is obviously get... We need better armor. Uh, we need more armor. Uh, and we need more ground force capabilities to be able to really go to total though. While our navy has abilities to fight the enemy in some significant ways, our ground forces are completely outclassed. Um, we can assume with a 15 penetration that we need some, we need some heavy armor. That's what we need. We need heavy armor. Uh, and so I'm going to consider looking at medium vehicles. I'm going to consider looking at things that will provide us with that capability. Um, auto cannons are one of them. Uh, going for medium vehicles with heavy armor on them provides us with a significant, significant capability in terms of, um, dealing with an enemy an enemy enemy armor and enemy ground forces uh, if we have a look at the enemy anti-tank teams they have a penetration of 20 so if we had um tanks uh then we may be able to be in a better position which is something that i think that we need to consider um i think that a medium auto cannon uh force would probably be the best thing that we can come up with with in terms of medium vehicles and so I'm going to rename this to the um, the Luthien class tank uh, MBT, and we're going to call call this 0021, and we are going to order immediate construction of these to be built. These are going to be very expensive, but I feel that they are going to be our only thing that can actually stand toe to toe with what the enemy is bringing out of us, which is a primarily heavily armored infantry force with heavy weapons. Um, and so I'm going to order up. With five research or six research facilities, I'm going to order up that to be constructed and on the way. Uh, we currently should have had the STOs finish up, if I if I remember correctly. Yes, we did. We're going to begin building planetary defense um, force cannons. Um, 
Orbital Defense. Uh, PD at now. We'll go Orbital Defense Regiment. We'll, we'll make full on PDF. I think that is the best way for defensive operations. We need minimum 100,000, 100, 200,000 tons per colony. We need a lot more. This will be planetary defense force. We are going to put in here um, Eprox. How many of those? So that's 50 cost each. So 10 of these is going to be 5,000 tons. So we're going to put in 20 uh, defense cannons uh, as our primary defensive armament. Um, ah, that cost is way too much. Way, way too much. We may need to, yeah, we need to go to five. Um, eight cannons. No, eight cannons. We'll have to do seven cannons. Now we'll do six cannons. And then I will get a colonel as the commander. And then we can stack these. We can stack these together. Uh, we will make proper orbital defense regiments, actually. We'll just what we'll do is we'll just create a STO build a formation. Uh, and that will just have uh five five cannons in it each. And then we'll just combine those into larger uh into 20s and then we'll, we'll build it like that so i'm going to order up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and i'm going to need to grab ourselves a better governor for ground force construction capability we need to get more ground force construction capability um i'm not sure where the enemy's gone to be honest the enemy has has completely left us all right i need to swing the mission i need the best ground force construction capability you can give me callisto uh, uh you you are now you are now assigned to earth uh you are assigned to earth as the construct ground force constructor on earth um i need as much build points into that as possible um next to power propulsion next to missile and kinetics weapons the next best thing is going to be that uh let us also remake the mechanized companies to delete the old apcs so delete um We'll have to wait for the mechanized companies to be done first. All right. And uh, what we're going to do with our carrier groups? Well, there's not much we can do. Uh, the third carrier group, let's have a look at our capabilities on those groups in terms of their endurance. Fuel not looking great right now. So they're going to have to shelter in place for a bit until we can get fuel moved over there. Uh, what does Arrakis have in terms of fuel? Arrakis is 16 million liters of fuel available. Uh... We have the troop transport fleet, obviously, and we're going to need how much fuel to be able to restock. Uh, so, Nerox 1, you're fine. We're going to have you head back to Sol. I'm going to have you refill resupply. The second carrier group, however, uh, that's going to need a lot of fuel. We're going to need a good 5 million liters of fuel each. So, I'm going to have to grab this tanker. So, this tank is there. I'm going to have to grab some tankers available that we may have uh, to us. We also are moving fuel over to Kareem Outpost as well, which we can make use of. How far of a distance is getting to Arrakis? Because if we get to Arrakis, we can refuel. 3 billion kilometers. We have 25% of our fuel capacity available to us. We have the range for that. We can head back to Arrakis and we can get a refuel operation on immediately. All right, let us uh, get away then. It's unfortunate, it is unfortunate that we have to leave and let the people there suffer. However, at this point, we don't have a choice. We need to build up more ground force construction facilities, and we need to continue our expansion in other areas. Iraq has nearly hit 10 million people, uh, and we don't have defenses in a lot of these places that we need defenses to be. Uh, so I'm going to uh, move off our ground forces, unfortunately. And uh, get them moved out of here. Uh, the Transval has having some issues. But we should be able to get the refueling situation sorted out. Yeah, the second carrier group, they've arrived. They've been able to refuel. Uh, we should be able to get fuel moving back to Arrakis in due time. Uh, so if I go back over to Fuel Transport Group 1. I'm going to have you go back over to... Have you go back over uh, to Sol and move to this location and start shipping fuel to the places that we're going to need it. Uh, and I'm going to begin the construction or production of more fuel immediately uh, because we, realistically speaking, we need it. Um, we have more deep space tracking stations on the way as well. I'm going to 
put in a demand request for civilian, or not civilian, but deep search stations. I'm going to add supply of 10 of these uh, to be constructed. So 10. And we're going to bring that over to Arrakis immediately. So we're going to demand 10 deep space tracking stations. We can't get to Terra Nova. We can't get to these colonies with these raiders in the way. And so we need to continue to heavily militarize our, our areas. Um, if we're going to successfully defend ourselves, realistically speaking. Yeah? Um, F2 done. Lamprey on the way. We're getting the transport fleet out of here. But yeah, they've, they've largely speak. They're still on Nerox, but... They've primarily left, and we don't have the capability yet to be able to stop them. Uh, we do count, can build three more troop transports, which will help us a lot in ensuring that when we do have the ground forces, we can you know, de you know move those ground forces very, very quickly to where we need to get them moving. Uh, we did just construct that. The Northumberland can finish their overhaul. Uh, we're going to have the Northumberland uh, stay there, and we're going to use our escort carriers, which I'm producing more of, to escort our troop transports in the future. Uh, once we get these guys back to Arrakis, back refueling, we're going to have you head back to Seoul and begin refueling there, as we have depleted Arrakis of a lot of fuel um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, mechanized companies just finish up. What I am going to now do is I'm going to begin moving uh, these, replacing these guys with our new um, better APCs. So if we have a look, we're going to need how many is in each? I, for, I do I do forget. Uh, mechanized company 6031. Okay, so 60 of the new B class and then 31 of the new AV, like that. Uh, we can also begin to rally our industry in terms of getting ourselves our war stocks available uh, because we do have a lot of war stock available. Um, and we can begin to channel that into building ourselves out some more divisions, uh, wants and replacements as needed. The problem is, is that we need some basically filler formations to actually do so. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to design ourselves some very filler formation, new formation, uh, infantry regiments. Well, infantry battalion more, more so to speak. Uh, in, and then infantry, infantry, infantry regiments. Inf, and we are going to then just train those up as needed. Uh, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to just take from our war stock. Because to be honest, we just need more ground forces. We need more capabilities. And we're going to need to be able to actually retake that um, that colony. It's been a bit weird. I expected us to to face some some, some more enemies. Um, Alpha, what is that going on with that? Is that because of our convoy? Oh, yes, the Essex probably. I would imagine it's the Essex. 13th fighter wing. Uh, which is that? Fighter 3... Fighter 250. Ah, yes, you're hogging the problem because you're on Kareem right now. Head back to Earth, refuel, resupply. Uh, that's probably just the Kareem fighter defenses. Yes, it is. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, resupply from the colony, please. And then we can begin repairing. Now, they should be able to make use of uh, the... Uh, what you call it? the supplies of the actual base itself just fine. Okay, the Essex is now back. Our tanker, where the hell is our tankers situated at? So, over to Arrakis, Jinsu, uh, move to location. You're nearly at Earth, which is good news for us. New hostile caught detected in Sol. Germanon class traveler. Okay, that's a problem. Uh, we have the first carrier group. We're going to begin immediate launching of... Um, the uh, Kagi of the um, we can launch all the F2s as part of that yeah let's do that so we're going to launch all a Kagi strike group so that is we launched everything into one big strike group as needed uh, and we're then going to begin heading them over um, I am going to detach the O1s as we don't really need those we're just going to have them land back on the first carrier group uh, land on assigned mothership. And the Akagi. 
uh, and then we're going to move the strike group over towards where the contact is follow contact and uh, make sure your actives are on of course oh god okay we're very close now okay we've detected 753 tons okay strike groups coming in and we should be able to splash this guy pretty damn easily uh f1's available general on traveler assign fleet open fire fleet uh you assign your weapons assign the enemy target open fire fire control assign that to your fleet and that should mean everyone is ready to go in and begin firing okay here we go we took three hits one penetrating hit one of the fight the fighter is still okay though ship destroyed on f1 destroyed there we are now beginning to intercept the target we're getting right on top of the target now uh, we did receive some hits, unfortunately, uh, which means the one of another F1 did explode. But we managed to destroy the enemy in short order. Uh, and we're going to bring the Akagi strike group right back to the Akagi. First carrier group. Land on assigned mothership and squadron accordingly. Um, you should be fine in terms of speed. Yeah, you'll be fine. And we're going to return. Uh, but yeah, that's the only contact we actually found. Uh, nah, new contact, which is very interesting. Uh, cease fire. Yeah, we'll just move you move you back to uh, Earth. And then we can uh, move all of them separately in. Okay, fuel transport group has arrived. Fuel transport group, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to order you to uh, refuel from Earth. Take that over to uh, Zitomir, take that over to Arrakis, and then transfer that fuel to the colony. Uh, uh, back to Sol, and then refuel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide you with an escort. Uh, so I'm going to provide you with... Uh, where the hell are you? Kareem, the Essex. So the Essex is going to join... Uh, yeah, You're going to join up with this fleet. You're going to join as a subfleet. Um, and you are going to then move along with uh, as needed to provide escort duty. Uh, we do need to obviously restock your fighters. Uh, so I'm going to grab the reserve command, grab ourselves some F2 fighters, uh, which we should be able to do. Uh, the JNS Natal. Oh, yes, the Natal just got built in it. Uh, fuel harvesters, F2s. No, I need fighter wing f2 is right there attach and then attach and that gives us 11 f2s available right there all right i think that's where i'll leave the episode off hope you guys have enjoyed obviously not that much actually happened which is surprising however we did lose our ground forces att um, attempting to retake we're going to have to really seriously rethink we've got stos on the way we've got more infantry on the way we've got a lot of other things going to be on the way here um we need to retake Nerox, and that means we're going to need more forces, more of everything. Uh, we've got troop transports on the way. We've got so many other things on the way. And we will retake our territories, our lands. Anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, consider becoming a member. And uh, yeah, goodbye.